Celtic have seemingly made contact with Dennis Husabinic, um, who is a German player, and the Celtic are looking to maybe sign him this summer. It has been alleged um, the FC Colin midfield player um, could be on a potential move to Celtic this summer. Another Celtic FC news. What about yesterday's press conference? I think the Celtic manager really does get a bit peed off with some of the questions asked by the Scottish media. I think one thing that he was really pissed off at yesterday was the fact that the first question was all about Cameron and Carter Vickers. I think the the news that was leaked and about the fact that he might have to go under and get some surgery and a little knee problem, I think he wasn't really happy about that. He's, he's, the manager basically just batted it to the side and said that he was only concentrating on what was in front of him. He says he will play this weekend. He says Jota won't play, um, Rio Hotsate, James Forrest and Leo Labada hadn't had a full week's training and they won't feature also. I think when you look at the the, the body language of Van Postecoglou, I'm maybe looking too far in it, but he is a bit, he, sometimes you're like, he's like, fuck me, that's pish again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, um, but he is planning for next season, which is most importantly, he won't be able to go in this summer. He has spoke about the fact that they are already in the market and they're already building for next season. He's asked about the success that he's having at Celtic, and he says the fact that Celtic could go 15 points clear uh, this afternoon uh, with a win, uh, which uh, Rangers are obviously playing tomorrow um, against Aberdeen. He basically went on to say, the Celtic manager says, uh, whether you're playing first or second on a Saturday, it's not really the thing that really gets us. He says, the fact is that we've got to score some goals. He says, we score some goals, we win. And that's all that matters to him. Talking about winning, he also spoke about the fact that the points tally and the goals tally. He says that the fact that, you know, sometimes that you can watch a game and it's absolutely rubbish and you can still win. He says, even the goals, the ugliest goals, last minute goals, the ugliest goals that go across the, the line. He says, they get celebrated and they'll get celebrated in the same way. He says, it's just part and parcel of football. He says, if we if we go into break records, it'll be fantastic and it'll be fantastic for these players and fantastic for the club. Greg Taylor, meanwhile, Green Taylor was addressing his own fitness um, after a recent injury fears. He says, um, the important thing that the level of fitness at this club is... Um, it's basically unbelievable. The left back was forced to sit out the 3 1 win over Hearts in the early match, and he was also left at the Scotland squad last month due to what Steve Clark described as a little injury early with, Rose, with Hibs in Ross County. Um, after the international break, suggested that he still wasn't 100%. You've got to remember, these guys are playing at some pace and they're playing week in, week out. Taylor has been absolutely fantastic. Um, is Taylor in contention for player of the season at Celtic? We all know that. Kyogo will probably get player of the season, but most improved player, you've got to remember, it was only a couple of years ago that everyone was wanting rid of Greg Taylor um, after he obviously made the, the switch from Kilmarnock. Um, he, he's just been absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the player went on to say, Greg Taylor went on to say, I feel much better, to be honest, touch wood, he said. He says, you go through tough parts of the season where maybe you have a wee phase where you're feeling it. Sometimes you need to patch yourself together, but these last a couple of weeks. I felt really good and ready to finish the season strong. It's the same with everyone. The manager has a massive squad. He says, bring in, they bring on this squad for a, a reason. He says, we want to be successful and this far it has worked. We know that we'll still have a long way to go. And it was that mentality again where we're talking about one game at a time, you know, everyone's getting a bit excited and saying, you know, you know, you, are you planning out which game it is you can win the league? And Greg Taylor says, no, it's a credit to the manager and the squad. He says that we are still taking it. He said, boring, boring answer, I know, you know, but it is something, it's the, the way that the club has been for years. It's not just under Ange Postecoglou. They have been saying this. Scott Brown used to say it as well. It's just one game at a time, you know, and, and even the manager said it again yesterday. He says, it's just one game at a time. If we lose this weekend, these questions are completely ir irrelevant. So the fact that Jota will be out again this weekend, it's looking like it might, might not be... You just don't know that. I think what's always good about this Celtic manager is he's really coy. He doesn't like telling the media or giving any hints to opposing managers about players that might be injured. Um, I really would love to get the insight into what he really thinks. Celtic transfer news, as we spoke about, the German player that could be coming to Celtic. Um, that would be an interesting one. Could it be the fact that this guy he is quite a young midfield player? But... Uh, he's got his interest. He's set to. He's got his interests sights set to move to either France, 
or England. But Celtic could come in and do a bit of business for him. Um, you know, the manager does like to get things set up and Celtic could come in and it's always going to be the same. Get this player in and we'll say, look, you have a couple of good seasons, one good season at Celtic, you get into the Champions League. The Champions League is a big thing for players. If you get in there, you, you will get spotted and, you know, you, and they'll, they'll quote other players that have moved on within a season or so. So it could be the conveyor belt still keeps coming, but we could make a good bit of money off this player. So the troubling news with Jota is the fact that he might be out... That, Transfer news is we might be after a German midfield player. Ange Postecoglou gets a bit pissed off with the media. <sighs> Who doesn't? It's, 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 uh, it's Scottish media for you. Greg Taylor addresses his own fitness. It is a bit cloudy here today. The south of Spain is in a drought, which uh, but it doesn't look as if we're going to get any rain. On that note, hope you enjoy the match and have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. And you'll see a little video this afternoon after the game also. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the